right guys welcome back to the vlog today is monday july 26th this is the very first week that i am home alone with two girls calling back to work today and just adjusting to this new life as four and two children my girlfriend tiffany has writer today trying to keep writer's routine the same so trying to make sure that everything that we were doing prior to sway we are still continuing to do so she is with Tiffany, it allows me to do YouTube, it allows me to edit, it allows me to get my week going. Sway is right next to me in her little bassinet sleeping. I'm gonna make myself some lunch. Again, two weeks postpartum, I am down 30 pounds. I gained, like I said, if you guys haven't caught that vlog, I did gain a total of 43 pounds with this baby. Same as I did with Ryder, very similar in weight gain. So I'm already almost to my pre-pregnancy weight. Uh, for only being two weeks postpartum, which is totally crazy. I am making myself some lunch. So as far as postpartum goes, I'm drinking a ton of water and I'm also doing a ton of vitamins. So I am doing my multivitamin, women's vitamin, now that I can have these again. I did also have my placenta encapsulated. So I am doing my placenta pills. That was part of the thing that uh, we paid for when we hired our doula and I'm also doing vitamin C right now kind of upping my vitamin C these are kind of the basics that I'm taking right now like I said I'm drinking a ton of water which is helping just keep me hydrated just because I am nursing and then as far as meals go I'm actually keeping it rather on the lighter side for lunch today I am doing a uh, kind of turkey roll-up so I'm using iceberg lettuce I'm doing organic oven roasted turkey breast I have my mozzarella fresh mozzarella mustard and then i'm going to add a little bit of avocado to these roll up again just keeping it light that's what works for me and yeah i just wanted to start the vlog off with real life this transition has been really hard like i'm not going to sugarcoat it for all those parents out there that have one kid and are pregnant with their second it's it's an adjustment for sure con and i have definitely had some growing pains this last week with Ryder, but everybody just says you know stick it out hang in there it's gonna get better and i hope it does because it's a lot between between not sleeping between being in demand with breastfeeding sway and the demand of Ryder wanting to play and have my attention uh, we are doing the best that we can but it is definitely it's 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 no joke it's a challenge for sure so I just wanted to be transparent on here because I know you can see a bunch of stuff on Instagram and and it's a facade or it's not real life. It's challenging, but I am just in love with Sway. She is such a good little baby. I uh, can't believe it's already been two weeks already. She's just, it's time is flying already. So I'm just trying to capture and document every second of her because as you guys know, babies grow very quickly, but yeah, this week we don't really have a ton going on. I'm not sure how comfortable I am to go out quite yet, kind of by myself with the girls. So I will see what I end up doing. I really want to focus on my studio and getting that dialed in. That's going to be my next project that I want to do. So there's definitely pieces that I want to shop for. But yeah, just going to take you guys along for the week. And oh, and by the way, two things. Getting my lashes put back on. This has been a struggle bus for me. I've had lashes for four years. I think I've had lashes for four years and I've never had them removed. I've never had them off. So this is this is hard for me to not have them. It's the one thing that makes me feel pretty as well as I'm going back to the gym. So my, my midwife said, hey, you know your body well enough. Just don't push it. Uh, don't be going and doing some new PRs and everything like that. So I'm gonna go to the gym today and get my workout in. I'm super excited to get back to it, but yep, that is it. We'll see you guys in my next Okay, big bottle. day. First time Sway's taken a bottle. Mm -hmm. All right. So this is mom's milk, but now dad is able to feed her. So she is two weeks in a couple days old. That's awesome. Now daddy can feed you. What is going on YouTube? Today is Thursday. Don't mind the look. I have literally not a stitch of makeup on. I have Miss Sway with me. She is passed out. But it has been two, almost two and a half solid weeks of no lashes. I took all of my lashes off, 
right after the birth of Sway just to give myself a break, but it has been very hard for me because I've had lashes for the last four years. So not having them, I, f I feel naked. I feel definitely different without them on. So my girl's coming to the house today to actually get me a new full set. So just wanted to document that I, what I look like before and what I look like after, it's night and day difference. But you guys will see footage of me with no lashes on because I am pre-recording some of my footage for the channel. So some of my videos I'll have lashes and some of them I won't, but say hi YouTube. And just like that, I have my lashes back on. A lot of people might think like, oh, you don't need the lashes, whatever, or you look prettier, all natural. But honestly, I've had lashes for so long that it almost feels weird not having them. And I feel a little bit better having them on. I don't wear mascara ever. I just honestly wear my foundation, a little bit of bronzer, I do my brows, and that is it. So, got my lashes back on, but yeah, just had to document. And I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Peace. What is up, YouTube, and welcome back to the vlog. We are currently at the gym right now. I'm almost three weeks postpartum. I will be three weeks on Monday. Today is Friday, and I have been hitting the gym since the beginning of this week, and it feels super good to be back at it. Now, most people postpartum are not supposed to be doing anything until about six weeks once they are cleared from their doctor, but I did have a discussion with my midwife and she gave me the thumbs up to go back to the gym just because this is something that I have been doing heavily pre-pregnancy and throughout my pregnancy. Obviously, I'm listening to my body and I'm not pushing myself too hard that I'm creating more damage than good. So I wanted to take you guys along for a postpartum workout. Today is going to be uh, biceps and triceps. I have been getting a lot of questions because I do share a lot of information postpartum on my Instagram story of people asking what it is that I'm doing in order for me, all of my weight loss and everything like that. So I will probably be sharing that in a vlog sometime soon for you guys, just what it is that I'm doing, some different tips for those of you that are going through the same process that I am right now, postpartum, and getting yourself back to pre-pregnancy and feeling good about your body. So I will definitely be sharing those tips with you. But other than that, let's take you guys in for a postpartum workout. See you guys in there, peace. up YouTube and welcome back to the vlog. Today is Saturday and the fam is going to Raising Canes. Yes. One just opened up here in San Marcos about 10 minutes from our house and we have no idea what the hype is about. We've never had it before. Ryder loves chicken fingers so we are going to go try it out. Chicken and chicken and Good job Ryder. Oh my god, sis back there too. Okay, let's see what this is about. There's a security guard, guys. There's a security guard directing traffic. Oh, you guys can see that, but there's like a security guard directing traffic for the drive through They ain't messing around here. Yeah, this is some serious stuff. Okay, what do you think? Not bad. Is it worth the hype? I mean, it's it's good. You've had Chick-fil-A. Yeah, well, it's hard. Like I said, I've had, I've had a couple nuggets of riders. I've never actually had like just their straight tenders from Chick-fil-A. I always get a sandwich. The tenders are really good. Give them that. How's the sauce? It's good sauce. Uh, probably prefer Chick-fil-A sauce a little bit better. Okay. But I like the crinkle cut fries. Versus the... Waffle cut, yeah. I'm a, I'm a crinkle cut. Okay. I need your... What's the, what's the consensus here? Yep. Um, show them how you take a bite of your nugget. Can or you your show tender. me? Um, I just... The that one is it's fine. It's fine? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you like this or do you like Chick-fil-A better? I like that 
with Chick-fil-A. Okay, so you like Chick-fil-A better? Yeah, with that. Okay. With lemonade? With lemonade? Mm-hmm. Okay. But and kids don't lie, man. There's honest opinion, so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> baby sister. Okay. Can you say baby sister. I will. Can you say peace? That's a good. All right, you guys, and that is it for this week's vlog. I hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to hit that bell button for every time I upload a video. And if you are not already following me on Instagram, I would love to have you over at Mom with Muscle. But until next week, I'll see you guys then. Peace. Mm -hmm.